Hello my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do a love reading. So let's see what your overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Investment. I like that. Investment in relationship. Eight of Wands. Great. Lots of passion. Lots of communication. Joy, happiness, maybe even travel. And honey, I'm home. Really uh, fighting hard for the relationship, Aries. R your person and you are really in sync, I feel, right now. And look at that. We also have the Knight of Cups. So let's see what we have here. Your mutual energy in the recent past is to let go of some very significant um, issues in the relationship. For some of you, there may have been an actual breakup, okay? Um, but this release card is making the decision judgment you've made a judgment call to either release something and it can be negativity it can be a person it can be the relationship itself but we're going to clarify this i'm feel very strongly that you've released something that was toxic in the relationship because your overall energy for the relationship is really stellar okay this is an equal investment currently oh i love this energy aries look at that three of cups best friends you also have a very rich social life together for those of you who are in a this is a new relationship it really speaks to the fact that you'll be very involved with or people outside of your circle of friends will be a part of your life so it's it's a very social life so it's a lot of comfort in introducing your person to your friends oh look at that oh my gosh aries your person sees this this ten of pentacles is a legacy relationship and this is like till death do us part and in the meantime let's just hit the ground running let's be practical let's save our money let's lead the good life it is an abundant good life and that's how they see the relationship currently how they view you they view <laughs> Aries, Ace of Wands, that is the original beginning of the fire signs. And so there you are in the reading as a fire sign, a new beginning. They see you as a self-starter, as someone who's very enthusiastic. They see you as somebody who's still emotional, you know, that sometimes you keep things to yourself. Uh, but they see you as a very active person, a very vibrant person, sexy, exciting, interesting. In their heart space, Four of Wands, they want to build a life with you. This is like buying a home together. This is you know, living together. These are the bridesmaids, by the way, tr traditionally, when we get an Ace of Coins, and there's a big coin here, but it's not the Ace. But if we get an Ace of Coins, we look at an engagement. But you have two marriage energies. In your heart space, your person really loves you. They find you to be a very powerful source of stability in their life. When things are going really well, they think of marrying you. But, you know, they're playing the tambourine. So you might enjoy music together. Five of Wands. How they see the situation moving forward. There's a lot of ego-driven battle here. This is, um, so we have Scorpio energy, we have Taurus energy, we have Sagittarius, Cancerian energy, we have Cancer energy, uh, Virgo energy, um, and this is air sign, I mean fire sign energy. The Four of Wands is um, Aries energy, you know, Aries 2, 3, 4. So that means that they see you as a leader also in their heart that you make a really nice home for them but now when we get to the five of wands we're in leo energy and leo is uh ego driven battles it looks like the two of you oftentimes sort of compete it's like it's not about what's right the two of you get enmeshed in these battles covert could be very covert but they're very significant to your person it's like well i'm right no i'm right well this is my point then you go back and forth and your person really feels as though that has a very detrimental effect because though it should be you know it's a pretty mild-mannered battle this is usually like 
best friends in the backyard, you know, when they're when they're 12, having a little battle, but somebody can get hurt, right, in the enthusiasm, but it doesn't need to happen. But Five of Wands says that there's a, an underlying conflict, and your person is unsure how that's going to work out in the relationship. The energy that is hidden between the two of you, you both are very hardworking, Virgo energy. You're very, you're both very attractive to the opposite sex, the same sex. Anybody that wants you, you are very, very attractive. This is the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. It's called, quote unquote, pre-empress energy. But it really speaks to the fact that you're very accomplished and both of you are very accomplished. Spirit is saying to, to hold back. The Eight of Swords is typically communication, self-imposed restriction. Um, and I'm really seeing this, this energy that I think needs to be released, that you've agreed to release, I believe is this sort of low-grade argumentative energy. And neither one of you actually mean to do it and so what i'm seeing here is a decision is made to follow spirit's advice to hold back on that energy eight of swords self-imposed restriction absolutely making the choice to zip the lip so to speak gemini energy look at that i love it page of wands really having a rebirth in your relationship throwing caution to the winds feeling happiness and enthusiasm and a joyfulness and a playfulness now what i would also say is this is the sort of early in the day when you might say something to your partner like "Ooh, i like that what what brand of uh you know, what brand of lingerie is that? Because that's pretty sexy as you get ready to go to work. So it's sort of building the, the, the physicality and the stability. Both of you have a great deal of passion, um, but it really is sort of building that flirtiness into the relationship. So let's go ahead and see what we have for the clarifier. So why have the two of you... What is it that the judgment card is released? Okay, well, both of you are very, very strong people. That is Leo energy. See, I said you were, okay, releasing energy. Both of you are very strong in your own right. So if you were to battle, it would be like two lions battling. You're not going to get anywhere and you could be, you know, it's not a good judgment call. So I see that strength card is that you're getting out of that egotistical energy and you're drawing yourselves together, making the judgment call to get out of the ego-driven energy and be you know be there for one another you both have strength and courage your person sees you as as very powerful three of coins there we go there we go strength through collaboration the other card that flipped over is the mother of swords those are very sharp words you know but this what i'm seeing here is when we get the libra queen we see this is a libra queen this is judge judy and judge and justice and judgment mean the end to a feeling of backstabbing or defeat through this ego-driven energy. So, you know, it's really hard. It's very difficult. But what I would say about ego-driven energy is if you can stay focused on the long-term goal and not get into the blame game or, well, if you had only done this or if this was different, no. All I want you to do is think about in a crisis, if you're transfixed on a good solution, which is a win-win, the strength card, you put your ego aside and it's about what's right, not who's right, okay? So that is absolutely fantastic energy. Just I want it to uh, look at the three of coins here. What might the Three of Coins mean other than just a really deep friendship? You've probably been together for a while, I would say, by looking at this. The Empress card, beautiful energy. Okay, so three and three. Three is a sign of the Trinity. Empress card means that both of you are very, when you're on, when your relationship is really operating in the way that you like for it to operate, the one that drives your person into this incredible energy. Look at this trifecta, Virgo, Virgo, willing to do the work Monday through Sunday, four of wands, stability. 
that Empress energy is both of you coming to the table with an absolute nurturing, sweet, kind Venus energy. Venus is about beauty and love and sweetness and kindness and nurturing babies and homes. It's pleasure. It's just pleasure. And we have the Father of Cups energy. So that is a daddy card. And that is the Father of Cups is Taurus energy. Somebody who does well for themselves and they're bringing that energy into the relationship to contribute in a partnership the two of coins sometimes they juggle or sometimes they feel like they're not quite sure about exactly how much they should invest but i really see them you know in this five of cups energy when they get sad about the relationship they have a tendency to sort of tighten the purse strings is what i'm getting here Yep, we have Eight of Swords. Yep, there we go. And both of you have a tendency to draw back. This is mutual energy, remember that. So when you're feeling hurt, when you feel as though you don't know what direction you're going in, and you get out of this, you know, pleasure and, and pleasure principle energy, <laughs> um, both of you become silent. It's almost like you don't talk to each other. Now, that's not a bad thing as long as it is tempered by remembering that you're just going to cool down. Using this energy to cool that energy is powerful, but not speaking at a certain point is not great. Now, I love this energy. Look what's peeking out here. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. And that is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. Those are the two most powerful, two of the most powerful combinations. That, that Those cards with you know, the four of uh, wands is absolutely stability. This relationship has is likely to culminate in marriage. And that's what I see your person looking at, uh, Aries. I see your person very much feeling as though, other than this energy, which both of you have agreed to release, it looks as though when you're not too ego driven as a couple, because because they own their share, they understand that they do it. Um, we see a culmination of happiness. Okay, let's see what we have for Ace of Wands. Four of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Wands. They see you as their marriage partner. Oh my goodness. When you, They feel as though when things are going well, they've never had a better partner, Aries. Okay, so why do we have the Four of Wands here? Oh, I like the, the duplication. It's always powerful in a reading. The Father of Swords. So your person is a very intellectual thinker. They're, they can be very cold and aloof, I will say straight up. This is very much a head over heart decision card. It's the ability, basically, of a, it's almost like a, you know, a coldness, the coldness and calculation required to make very strategic decisions. And so the King of Swords is somebody who cuts to the truth. They want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They can be cold, though. But here we have the Emperor, and look at, we had the Empress card here. Remember that? Oh, I love it. Okay, the Empress, look at this. The Empress and the Emperor, this is your mutual energy and your person wants to really live up to their image of being a leader. And the Emperor drives a chariot. So this is interesting because this is also a car. So it's interesting, your person may be thinking or mulling over um, a car for the, the relationship. Interesting. All right, so why do we have the Five of Wands energy here? Why is this energy here? Why is it here? Why does this person worry so much? Oh, yes. So we have six of swords, six of wands. They want a victory. Again, egotistically, they want a victory. They want you to acknowledge what they do right, Aries. That is something that they want from you. They don't want a constant. They, everybody wants to hear what they've done right. Everybody wants to have somebody not stroke their ego, but acknowledge their success. So when they come home and they say, oh, I made a big sale at the office today, just go, wow, that's really great. I'm really proud of you. I, I know that you are working very hard because this person does find it burdensome if they don't get that little ego stroke, but that's okay. We all need it. We all want it. 
and they want to give up the burdens of this energy of fighting they want the sun card with you they see you as their happiness they want a victory they want happiness and they want to drop the burdens i love it this is a beautiful reading for you nine of coins why are you both the nine of coins the ace of swords truth be told you are both very very much impressed with each other the Hierophant, another marriage card. You have the same belief system, basically. You have the same value system. The Hierophant is very important. It's Taurus energy. So this is a very important card because the Taurus energy, we also have the King of Pentacles in here somewhere. I can't remember quite where, but um, the King of Pentacles energy is very powerful. But we see Hierophant, you know, is the belief system that you share. The Eight, of Swords, the Eight of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Swords. Both of you are really trying to restrain on any sort of uh, comments. Yeah, see, you're, you're just not going to speak if you're really in this frustrated mood because of a decision that you made together. Okay, I'm loving it. The Three of Swords, yeah. The Three of Swords. So it says that when you're feeling really brokenhearted, I'm not seeing this as a third party situation. What I do see is that there are other people in your lives that you may argue about. And oftentimes, and I'm seeing this in that way, that uh, I feel as though there are some family issues at hand here. The pages are oftentimes children. Let's see who the Three of Swords energy is for you. Who is that Three of Swords energy? Hermit card. Okay, somebody who's alone. Hermiting would not be a threat to the relationship. Okay, that's Virgo energy. So it wouldn't be that. That would be somebody who is in your mutual lives, who does well for themselves. The Moon card indicates possibly some emotional issues or challenges. I am getting the Eight of Wands here, but I'm getting that the desire to help this person is meeting now with self-imposed restriction. The hanged man, looking at things differently. So this is just going to be some sort of complex situation that both of you, there's, there is somebody else here who is, looks like I th really truly feel as though this is a family member because of the, the, uh, the ten of coins or the nine of coins. This is nine. Nine of coins. So it does look like somebody in the family who may not be speaking with the hermit. It just looks like there is an issue here. Uh, and it does look like it's a child since it's next to this energy. So that's interesting too. Especially when you're older and you have a relationship after you both have grown children. This is a little bit of the energy that I see possible. Who is the Page of Wands, please? That's Sagittarius energy. The Eight of Cups, okay. Somebody who's caused a lot of sadness. We do see temperance, though. The two of you are dealing with this. Whatever this is, this, the uh, seven of, six of coins, seven of coins. I have to pull up my glasses. Six of coins, okay. So somebody that both of you have given to, but again, five of wands, there we go. This is a child. This is a child. This is a child. And it looks like a child that has really had some significant issues. Eight of coins, I mean, clearly you're both invested in this child, but it does look like there is something really going on here that is causing some problems, but you, the two of you are really strong together. So even though this is your outcome card, what I'm seeing here is that the two of you are remaining strong. Six of coins, six of coins. Temperance card is Sagittarius. Both of you remaining very optimistic about your connection and trying to leave whatever this sort of drama is here, this burden um, with somebody who doesn't, who's the death card is death and rebirth. Let's see if this is about somebody's arguing in the family. That's how I'm seeing this. The death of an argument, the death and rebirth. So things will return to sun. See, pages again, pages of cups. Okay, so we do have the energy that there probably is an adult child or at least a, an older teenager that's causing, used to cause some ego problems here with the burden they brought to the relationship. But it does look like the two of you are handling it beautifully. So let's look and see what the 
the Oracle cards have for you. Let's see what we have. Okay. I am going to pull a couple more out. I'm going to pull some um, Heart of the Fairy Oracle out here to see more about that. Your, your advice, though, from Spirit is freedom. Free yourself of other people's burdens. The two of you need to fly high no matter what. You're a very powerful couple. Spirit guardian of summer expansion. So this summer it looks as though your relationship will expand. Um, looks like you may move. Okay, let's see what else, what else we have chaos so there is a storm brewing underneath let's see what that heart of the fairy oracle is let's see what is a storm that's brewing here the thief okay so there is a thief in the crowd tell us something more about that thief please who is the thief the shadow of the past, interesting. So I would say that whatever turmoil the two of you get into, these are issues from childhood. And um, it really speaks to the fact though that you do still have the joy of the future here, okay? So you can't give in the thief. The thief here is the past for both of you. And I feel as though you've chosen in a very conscious way to give up the energy of arguing. Let's see here, what else do we have here? The remembrance, okay. So both of you are remembering that energy and you don't like it. Let's see who this person is here, who is the child, this page of wands, page of cups, or could be two. What is going on with that person? The child, the child. Okay, we can't make this stuff up. All right, somebody who's acting like a baby. All right, and we have Lady of the Forest. Okay, so somebody who looks as though she is missing. The Lady of the Forest is somebody who's without a partner who desperately wants to seduce a human. She is a fairy, but she wants a human. And so we see the Queen of Hearth and Home, though. I believe that's you very much. Hearth and Home because you represent these cards, Aries. And so I feel as though that energy is yours. All looks like it's splendid. You know, there is no such thing as a life without some thorny issues going on. I mean, it's very seldom that we get to do that, you know, have a quote unquote, a perfect life, even by perception. But sending you love, send some back and tell me where you're from, please. I would love to know where you're viewing the video in the world. And if you have any like overall questions that you'd like a reading for, like, oh, I can't get my partner to open up or just some things like that. When I get a little bit of a consensus, of uh, a thorny issue that you think could be could affect everybody at some point uh, i'll do it i'll do a general reading a collective reading for it thank you so much aries bye-bye